And the government says the information the opposition has asked for in respect of public debt is an additional level of detail that has never been provided by any previous government. It follows criticisms that the government has been less than transparent in Parliament on this matter. In a statement issued tonight, the government says the decision not to provide information on aggregate debt is not indicative that the figures approved in the estimates of expenditure are not being adhered to. They say it has nothing to do with holding the government to account for the public finances. And we're joined now by the Minister for Economic Development. Good evening, Mr Bossano. Can Hello. you tell me why the change of policy at this time, particularly after Brexit, a time of great uncertainty? Well, look, it has nothing to do with Brexit or uncertainty. It has to do with the fact that although throughout the, the uh, uh, press conference that they held. They mentioned all the time the gross debt and the aggregate debt and the fact that they had asked for those figures for June and that figures like that had been given in previous months. What they didn't say was that the trigger that led to the policy decision was that they introduced new questions, additional questions, which were asking not simply about the debt but asking when did you put the money in the bank? In what kind of account did you put it? How much is that? Well, look, at the end of the day, that level of questions are about the internal machinery of the government. This, but, is, a, this is not a question that but did you anybody not... has ever asked any government in the 44 years I've been in but Parliament. But have you not been providing monthly no, estimates not, yeah, over the not, past five years? Not of the information that they asked this time. What I have provided before is something that, in, in effect, uh, has little meaning and that is the only thing they mentioned in their conference. In their conference they said to you, look, we used to get these figures before and we haven't got them this time. Well, look, the figures this time they asked for were in addition to what they normally got. What they normally get is a figure which is the figure that is in the estimates and whether there's been any change. It has very little significance in terms of holding anybody to account because what can be held to account is what we put in the budget and the opposition then, I've been in opposition longer than anybody else, 32 years. And you hold the government to account on the basis of what the government says it is going to do. So if we say the aggregate debt is going to be 446 million, right, and in a year's time it will be 442, you hold me to account on the accuracy of the figures that I've given you. OK, but didn't you say that you weren't going to provide the figure because you couldn't guarantee that it could be accurate? Well, given the use to which they put the information, you must remember that, that the way that, that the, 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 they're talking about the difference between the aggregate and the, and the net debt. And so people understand what it means. It means, for example, that at the moment, as I've said, the aggregate debt is 400, uh, uh, 446. And we've got 100 million in the kitty, which was a figure that we put in the budget, okay? So that means it will be 346 will be net, that is 446 minus 100. Tomorrow we have a pay rise, and in that month we pay out more than normal. Next month we may have people who are getting retrospective payment for a previous, and that month also we pay out more. So from the 100 million we finish with less. The, the differences in the net debt is not the result of borrowing or not borrowing. It is the result of the fact that, as our press release explains, and as I've ex explained on innumerable times to my good friend Roy Clinton, although I don't expect he needs to have it explained, but it doesn't seem to, to sink. Any business, and the government, like a business, has got a cash flow where for one day you may get a lot of tax payments coming in a couple of days ago we had a big tax payment by a company but sorry i have to interject here yeah. and ask you when are you planning to release these figures next because you said something at the end of the financial year no no at the end of the financial year the figure will show whether we are right in the prediction of 442 but will you I be providing figures next month in parliament no we'll not be providing the figures for the details that they've asked for I can provide the figures today or tomorrow for the, the global figure. There's, it doesn't change from month to month. Look, I can tell you 12 times a year the gross debt is 447.7 million pounds. They say that you are preventing them from holding you to account yeah. and that you're not being open and transparent with yeah. the figures, which also isn't in the public interest. How would yeah. you respond to that? Well, I would say that I know what it means to hold governments to account. And I never needed in the 32 years to hold them to account or the AACR to account 
and I did a very good job of holding the government to account. So if they don't know how to do it, I'm not here to give them lessons, but it's complete nonsense to suggest that they cannot hold the government to account if they don't know whether the reserves are 900 million or 1 million or because the fluctuations... You, sorry, I have to just ask you one final sure. question. Can you provide some reassurance to the public uh, that the government is not over borrowing and uh, for the avoidance of doubt um, can you just provide uh, assurance of what the state of the uh, pu government public yeah. debt is one of the things that they, that they floated as an aside was that the capacity to borrow is now 200 million more I can give a categorical assurance that there is absolutely no intention to borrow any more than there is already there. In fact, the debt is going down and will continue going down because we have committed in our manifesto that it will be down to 300 million by the time of the next election. And I am repeating that commitment here today. Okay, Mr. Bolsano, thank you very much for coming in.